Hey, welcome back everyone to Garage Studio Modelers. I'm Dave Forrest and this is my good friend Harvey Lowe. And today we're going to talk about uh, A of B interiors. Is um, that the banter today, Dave? It is the banter. Yeah, it will be the topic for today. And uh, I've got a kit, uh, and you've got uh, you've got a you've mm -hmm. got a, a current build that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, well, might as well get right into why, it. Why did why why did we pick this topic? I have a I think I have a reason why I said you know let's let's pick this topic today. Do, 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 I, I, well, I can tell you why. Yeah, why it was convenient for me because yes. I just happened to be working oh, on this. Oh, okay. Right? okay. So, uh, and then you had this. Uh, well, you're working on this. On this. Uh, for me, for me, it was a frustration yeah, moment. It's a frustration moment, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. There's, there is so, definitely some frustration. I'm yeah. struggling with this, and then I think that you said you were struggling with that. Most definitely. And so I said, let's do a struggling video. No, we don't want to call it that. <laughs> but but I thought let's a therapy video. Let, yeah therapy <laughs> video. But we thought well let's do a video on so how, what we've got done so far on these these kits rather than taking the whole project from start to finish. Let's just kind of like do an episode on yeah. It. And, I, and I think it's for me anyways. It's it's not something I've done a lot of in the past. Like mm -hmm. I haven't done a lot of open top vehicles where you can actually see a good a good chunk of the interior mm -hmm. like you can with this this two fifty one. So yeah. So I think we'll, we'll kind yeah. of just get get into it. Yeah. And, so this is uh, so Mike. So we'll start. With, we'll start here. Yeah. And we'll go over mm -hmm. So this is the uh, Dragon uh, Two Fifty One. Uh, this is the one that has all of the uh, the motors uh, loaded on the side. I think they call it the Stuka Zufus, right? right? Stuka on foot, right? Um, Dragon kit picked it up uh, for a great price at a, at a local show, um, but it's it's a Dragon kit, and uh, and I was uh, I was really strong armed into buying this by a good friend of ours, Steve. Steve, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to say, friends don't let friends build dragon kits. This, this compared to compared to to me, it's got dragons listening. Yeah, mentions. I know. It's but it's. Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, the detail is incredible, and it'll at the end it'll build up into something very nice. Um, but it just fights you a lot more Sorry. than it has to, right? So, uh, like, there's lots of shimming that I have to do to get the kind of the side stowage pieces on. Um, everything is like super glued because. Plastic glue just won't hold it. Like it's got a Ooh, really. Right, oh yeah, I didn't know that. And if you look at it very closely, it's sort of like an old house in Toronto. There isn't a right angle on it, right? Like <laughs> so. And, and and hey, not is that Toronto, California, or Toronto, Canada? Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Canada. Um, yeah, just and and say hey, full. Hey, this could be me. This could be user error. Very possible. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't. The kit doesn't make it easy, right? Isn't there a saying that? Guys say that Tamiya is sometimes, I'm being general, simpler, it's but true. the engineering is bang on. It is. But Dragon has got a lot out. But, but, but the detail engineered. is, yeah. yeah, the detail is amazing. Like the right. interior detail of yeah. compared to the Tamiya kits yeah. is, this is way better. Like much more realistic. Right. And and to be fair, I have, I have a, a few of the Tamiya half tracks. I'm going to, I'm going to salvage parts like the interior benches some of the interior mm -hmm. gear that I, you know, that are extras that mm -hmm. aren't required for this version, mm -hmm. I'm going to use on the uh, Tamiya versions. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Because the detail's there. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. so again, kudos to, to yeah, Dragon, Dragon for that. Of course. Um, but it just, yeah, it just fights you more than it, than it needs to. Um, mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it, for me, it was interesting. It was, it was a good exercise on uh, getting back to painting wood, right? Because there's some wood slat, mm -hmm. slatted benches in mm -hmm. here. Um, some leather work as well. So, mm -hmm. so Robert will get in and, and get some detail um, on this, and, and I have some photos I can send. that can probably mm -hmm. put those up too mm -hmm. after we get everything said, uh, said and done. I used uh, a Yahoo Models um, the dials for the right. for the uh, for the instrument panel. Right. Um, I used uh, some three D printed fire extinguishers from um, from T Rex. Gorgeous, gorgeous. One one full and one with the fire extinguisher mm. missing. Are they in there now? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're in there. Yeah, they are. Okay. Sorry, this, these aren't going on. So these are just to show kind of what it would look like. But um, and then again, Robert can come in. But using the three D printed fire extinguisher, yeah. I used the, an Echelon decal for the fire extinguisher label, um, so it looks so it looks really nice. But as I pick this up, I can see daylight shining through some of the through some of this part here. Is Even that though, right? Yeah. So I've got a. So you've got a. Get some putty in there just to stop the daylight, and I shit, and I have to shim up. Again, you'll get you get some, but I have to shim up the side of it. Otherwise, there's a big gap. Right. And then I can see I can see the white plastic 
um, stock plastic so, I used. So how are you gonna fill that little light coming through with? I think I'll just use, use some use putty surfacer or something. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. maybe something something that uh, I can wipe away with alcohol, mm -hmm. right? Something easy enough. Well, I'd I'd be curious from the viewers, like how many guys would do a complex thing like this and enjoy the tiny little fiddly bits. And then somebody build a Tamiya kit. I mean, I think everybody kind of maybe well, mixes it up. Doing doing the sub assemblies yeah. was a lot of fun. Okay. Putting it all together, right? Not so fun. Yeah. Um, but fit. again, yeah. It, the it, fit. But is it? How are the tracks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, these are not, these are unrehearsed. I have no idea yeah. how you thought the tracks were. So how were? Yeah, the the, yeah. The tracks were really fit, fit, fiddly. Okay. But they're they're small because you have to have the, the individual tracks. Oh, there's like rubber bump or whatever you call mm -hmm. it on there mm -hmm. and then the wheels like the alignment of the wheel like i had to clamp with like s like steel edge rulers to get everything to line up and even then it doesn't like if i look at it um yeah it's not it doesn't look too bad and this goes back to our episode on judging right because if you get those wheels wonky yeah. if you're really yeah. into entering contests that's yeah, it, the that's fit, it the fit on it's this not is not going to be mm. you know i mean it's okay but mm. it's not it's hard, right? Mm. So I remember, and I remember seeing um, other dragon like two fifties and two fifty ones on show tables, and I'm like the wheels are like, how did, how did they you, not do? Do you have the Tamir? You have a Tamir? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But you haven't built it, so you I have no built. idea how the wheels. Oh, but it'll go on better than these, probably for yeah, sure. Probably, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like these are just so. So but, I'm, I'm gathering from you one is just the frustration of of the fit, definitely. Yes. What's the What's the shim for? What's the What's well because. What's the, you put a little styrene I thing I did, there. yeah, so on this side, this fits, like there's 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 not supposed to be any gap here. So there's a bit of a gap, uh, but it's taller, I said, I'm not gonna, okay. there I'm you not go. gonna do major surgery. And this kind of fit in, for whatever reason, on this side, there's there's a huge gap. There's a huge, between. Oh, I see, I so, see, I see. So yes. I just glued this on. Got you, got and let you. It, uh, So I, I glued it on last uh, night, I was, I, and I said, well, I'll just, I'll finish it off in the morning, because I want to let the glue yeah, fully hard. Yeah. And the other thing I use too is I should I didn't bring it with me, but um, one thing, one tool or one one uh, product that I found very useful for this is you know, like you, you know you have your Tamiya thin glue, thin cement yes. in, the, in the square bottle. Yes. Uh, when you get near the bottom of it, you start chucking in a bunch of, of uh, spare uh, plastic. Oh chopped right, up, chopped right. up plastic, right? right? Chopped up sprues mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and it makes like this slurry, the this, goop, the goop, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's great for gap filling. Yes, it is. Right? So I've it used is. it in a few different spots mm. to help kind of seal That's things. Good. And because and, and it, it dries, it dries just like plastic. Yeah. So it's the yeah. same hardness as the plastic. And you can sand it down, right? You and can scribe like, over it. You and can it's do the same chemical, obviously. So it yeah. bonds it very well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so it's a very useful thing. I yeah. actually have, while we're on that, I, I have an old bottle of testers glue. You know, glue? Li liquid glue. Oh, glue. And I, I take chunks of, um, what, 0 .040, really thick. Uh, styrene and I just throw them in. I don't See, even like, wait for the thing to go down. Like I have a separate bottle of oh, goop. Oh, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Right? And then I just use Now it does dry out. Sometimes you have to kind of rejuvenate it with more plastic. liquid. Yeah. yeah. Or goop. more plastic. It's too whatever. But it's, it, like you say, it's great. And yeah. I literally have a bottle of goop. Yeah. Styrene goop. So this, yeah. So I mean, so this was, I mean, it was fun, yeah. frustrating. Yeah. Right? I think, you know, dragon kits are, right? I, I, I think I, I this is probably the third or fourth dragon kit I built. Mm. How were the other dragon kits? Same thing? Or uh, this? Yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this one. Yeah, because of the running right. gear and the... So go back to the comment that we made on the judging. If you do that, and let's say I had a Tamiya Hano Mag. Right? You win. Right, wouldn't it? Because it's easier to... Well, I mean, not. I'm not talking about expertise here, but but I don't I have an advantage that... Mine it is might, just yeah. goes right in. It's made this probably would fit right on. It'd probably take me less than what you know, 10 seconds with Tamiya kids, and you're fiddling with it. Yeah, when you put it on the table, and if, if the judges are going yeah. for every little, I have an advantage because I started with a Tamiya kit. Yes, right? Yeah, right? for sure. Now, Thanks. now, having said that, there you, you this this kit has way more detail, mm -hmm. right? So it looks yeah. more real, there's yeah. just more detail yeah. there. So it comes back to that whole risk reward. Thing we were risk about. reward right so, you come up with these great statements any sunday you have I, a risk reward I, yeah i, I do <laughs> okay. I, right. I am corporate after all yeah yes <laughs> you like these right. little 
Yeah, they yeah. come in handy. Yeah, what was your any Sunday? That's any where, given Sunday. Any given Sunday, you might win at a contest or lose at or, a contest. Yeah, yeah, you can go from risk and reward. You can go from best best in show to not to place. nothing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The there you go. So anyway, so I, I yeah, so I'm committed. I'll build this. I think it will build into a very nice model. Okay. Um, but you know, there's a lot of work. Like I'll have to like put some welds mm. along because you can see mm -hmm. the look look at the gap there. It's horrible. Oh yeah. Like again, Robert will get close in and get yeah. some shot, but the gap here, so I'll have to do something to put thanks. some weld seams or. Right? Thanks for telling me when I judge it, I'll say, "Hey, there's a gap there." Well, I'm not placing it. Sure. <laughs> Kiss that goodbye. Um, okay, but yeah, yeah but I, but I, but I think it's a neat it's a neat it's looking a, model. Sure it is, yeah. And it's it's not, you know, like if I was an amps judge looking at this, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it's not 100 percent straight. I bet you. But, do, but if bet, you don't, if you don't yeah. look at it like very closely, yeah, I will bet you do it at great. night. Eh? I yeah. bet you're sleeping and you're looking at it while you're sleeping, and you can't sleep because you're looking at the alignment. <laughs> have you been talking to my therapist? I have. Yeah. 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 So what? So what did you do on the inside? Do you want to talk a bit about how you finished yeah. it? Yeah. So at the inside, um, and again, we'll get we'll get some detailed shots of it. And it's kind of hard to see because the light's not uh, mm. because of, everything's built up over it. But uh, yeah, I think the inside was. Uh, fun, fun to do. It was like mm. a lot of streaking, mm. some oils for for dirt. I didn't use any pigments, okay, because I didn't want it to build up too too much. Not even for dirt. Not even for dirt. I really? just use oils. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise the the pigments get you know it's kind of huh. I because I might try pigments on mine. Well, we can see what happens. Yeah, a different yeah. effect. Yeah, I just I just did I just went with. Uh, so so the first oils. thing you're saying, Dave, and to our audience. You're saying that you you're almost treating the inside interior of the vehicle as if you were weathering the outside to well, some the, degree, and right? it comes back to that consistency, right? right? So if, if I'm gonna have I'm gonna have it weathered outside, obviously, of course. So you the, especially the crew would come in, they would get out, they'd mm -hmm. come in, and they would track in dirt with them. Mm -hmm. be, you know, they wouldn't necessarily clean it out because they're in combat conditions. Um, so like if you have a, a like if it's fully weathered ex in the exterior and there's like it's very clean on the inside. Yeah, right. That's there's no consistency. Yeah, consistency to me. Kind of judging. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a judging uh, criteria is consistency yeah. weathering. Yeah. Exactly. And this one's open top, so you do kind of have to do something. Yeah, you, have, you definitely have to. Do yeah, something. I'll go over mine, which is actually enclosed, but I'll talk a bit about that yeah. in a second. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll carry on. I think, like I said, I think this will turn into a very mm -hmm. nice mall at the end of the day. It'll mm -hmm. be way more detailed than the Tamiya mm -hmm. equivalent, mm -hmm. but. Uh, there, there yeah, is the syndrome. A struggle. Yeah, well, there is a syndrome of, of struggle and throw. That's my new term today, where I'm struggling. I'm going to throw it, right? You know, throw it against the wall. Well, um, yeah, so. there, there, were, there were those moments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, uh, if I'm being honest. There you go. Yeah, so. All right. All right, so enough of my crutching. Uh, my crutching. Like, now, now over to you, Harvey, oh, for, my. for your uh, so, therapy session. Our therapy session is called Frustration and Modeling. I think we're calling the episode AFV Interiors, but I, we can call it Frustration and Modeling. So I, too, am struggling with this. This is the uh, exact uh, Russian Gaz Tiger. Um, I, I don't know how they pronounce it in Russian Tiger. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I don't normally do modern stuff, but we had a, a local challenge adult in Toronto, and we said we got everyone's got to do some sort of Jeep. So I decided I, I tried it. I got it at a good price at a show. Yeah, I was part of that challenge. I did nothing. <laughs> So that's right. Uh, you, well, it's, who knows? You can still come back to the challenge and finish that. I, you I, do. I have the best of intentions. I actually have I a, a, a Schwimm wagon. I bought all kinds of aftermarket for it, new wheels for it, and it just sat. In oh, come on. Nobody does that in the hobby. Nobody buys stuff. And, oh, okay. But I had the best of intentions. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Back to your... No, no, not at all. So this this is the... Uh, now, this interior, I decided to do what Dave did, to, to weather and modulate it um, as much as like it, I was doing the exterior. And why? Because, I mean, it's covered, right? So the model is actually a covered vehicle, but it's got really wide doors and windows, and you can display the model with the doors open. So I figured if I leave all the doors open, you will be able to see something. Yeah, was that the intent? That yeah. Then you're gonna leave yeah, I'm gonna leave everything open. In fact, I don't have it with me, or maybe I do. See, I told you this is totally ad lib. But I bought a lighting kit. Here, here it is. You're gonna it, light the interior? I'm gonna try. Like it's not gonna be it's not a starship. <laughs> I like lights. They, these are Sometimes tiny little, uh, I forget who makes these, but they, they, this one has two LEDs, and, and, I, and you get oh, them yeah. at uh, those um, Gundam stores, 
And uh, I thought, well, what happens if I hook two lights in the ceiling? They won't be accurate to where the real lights are, but then you can see the interior. I, well, I say I'm going to do it, but I'll see. Nice. Right? But then you'll be able to see it. Now, this just, is... Yeah, yeah, sorry, just on mm. that. You know, it's funny, you touch upon something interesting. With all the, the advent of these full interior kits, you can't see them. No. Like, you put all of this work into it, and yeah, you'll, you'll leave as many hatches open as you can, but it's never going to do... The justice, point. right? That's but I've point. seen and some like I've seen some guys light up. Yeah, and it looks more amazing. and more. Yeah, more yeah. and more. It, it looks great. It does. Yeah, so it does. Yeah, good on you. I like that. Right. Yeah. And and of course we're we're not talking about aircraft interiors, which we'll do another episode. But those are even worse, so right? It, you, yeah. And and you 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 put it in because you know it's there, but you can't see the, but the aircraft interior is typically you can see most of it. Not not sorry, not in the, the cockpit. Cockpit. Not yes, in the cockpit, yes, but yes. a cockpit where you yes. have like if you put in a nice. Right. Like if you use one of those Quinta Studios yes. instrument panels, those things are gorgeous. Absolutely. You want to be able to see that, right? But this one it will be buttoned mm -hmm. up, and, and yeah, you really can't see much. But here's where I'm kind of changing it up because I like to change up models. I'm putting this BMP turret on it, atop there. And this one is essentially Syria, where they have pictures of a destroyed uh, uh, gas tiger with a BMP turret. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's an ISIS modification. I don't know. And if some viewers know more than I do, please tell me because I have no idea even what color to paint it. So I'm kind of just. I'm sure there are all kinds of field yeah. mods, right? I mean, you saw those uh, armor in Syria or. Yep. Or, yep. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Those yep. books, and they have all oh, kinds fantastic. of field modifications. That's the two volume? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a great source of reference. So even with this on, the hatch open, that's why I thought I'd put some lights in. Now, further on with this interior, before I forget, these vehicles had this camouflaged. Oh yeah, I'm noticing that earlier. Yeah. I think, see, it's it. These guys come with decals in this did, kit. Did they just get it backwards? I don't, I don't know. Eh? What can some readers tell us why they would put camouflage on the interior? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a I good have question. absolutely because no usually idea. The interiors are a lighter color, so you can see what's going yeah. on, right? From what I can tell from photos, and again, sorry guys, I'm not an expert on this vehicle. I think it was a, a fabric that that you attach. It attached, right? It's not painted this way. But again, why would they apply, you know? That's a good question. It's just because I, I have the I have the main kit yes. this, and it's the same thing. They have a big decal sheet or right. decal sheet for the So the one of the there's three companies that make this Vesta. Vehicle. So that does Vesta have the decals? Well, I not on I got the M version, which is a later oh, version of okay. this, so it didn't have it in, the, in for that one. Okay. But uh, yeah. So decals are fantastic. Um, just a couple of shortcomings with this kit. I know, I mean, it's a great kit. Apparently, when I looked at the reviews, this particular exact model is the most detailed. But it it's is. also over-engineered. Yeah. Now, the... Very detailed. Model. Very detailed. There's the underside. I don't know, Robert, if you can see it. We can get some shots after. Yeah, we can right? get shots and send them after. Yeah. The, I struggle with this. I'll tell you, I struggle, number one... I'm not familiar with this vehicle, and you have to be very careful when you build this model because the chassis is a certain way, and parts that you think are here should be actually back there. They look the same, but they're not. So I actually put the suspension on backwards without realizing, and before the glue drives, so oops. But it is very difficult to build. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pieces to it. I don't know if you can see, but... But just, just I mean, and I, was, I had the... I had the advantage of looking at this um, in some detail before we started filming, okay. right? And okay. the detail is is phenomenal, right? Oh, so okay. It, so same same type of thing. Right? If I go back to yeah. you know the two fifty one here, harder to do, more harder. detail. Oh my god! It you is. know, the level of effort goes up, the chance of error goes up, and whatnot. Yes. But if it comes together, like this looks way more detailed than the main kit. Oh, okay. I haven't from even a, seen from the main like kit. it's yeah the suspension. Like a lot of what you have to put on is already kind of integrated into the suspension. Yeah, but even look at the, there's so many tiny pieces. And I found that I had to uh, do sub-assemblies. If I followed it, it would be really hard. Yeah. I think the biggest problem with this kit is fit. Yeah. It, it does not, it doesn't fit very well. Well, the more detail, the oh. worse it is, right? Like, the more chances you have of... It's hard to see, but this, there's a, a whole glob of super glue just to keep the chassis onto the, the this bottom of the... How, how did you find the instructions? Very good. But yeah. but so again, dragon instructions. <laughs> no, huh? 
no. No. No, these were actually quite nice and they're a nice booklet with staples. But boy, was it a challenge to put together. Um, as for colors, I don't know. Um, I do know, and I got most of my references online, the seats were just a black upholstery, but I did see some with this tan canvas, so I just took the liberty of painting and gives them a little bit of color. Because um, I believe... The light is up, otherwise yeah, it's not black, right? It's black. Yeah, it's black. Nice, it looks good though, it's great. Yeah, I've got a couple of washes in there, and, and it's hard to see, but there's a pattern, a tread plate on the bottom. That's just dry brushing. Now here, here's a tip. When I dry brush, um, I might use a light gray, but I'll actually add a tiny bit of uh, Winsor Newton, um, like typically a, a white. Mm -hmm. um, and somebody said, well, you can't mix Winsor Newton oil paint with acrylics. Yeah, you can. You just mix them up and then you use it to dry brush. There's no chemical reaction. And you use the white just to get Lighten that extra level of pop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you want that contrast. Like you're, you're a master at it. This thing here is the, the, where they stand on to, to go into the turret. Mm -hmm. and, it's got six seats. These seats were murder. They were so hard to do. They're over-engineered. They got little, um, you know, where the seat rotates, the little latch. Yeah. Folds. They're separate. It's insane. They could have just done it as one. Well, the, the, yeah, because then you're risking, you got to put it, they're a little crooked, take it to the show. Oh, it's crooked. It drives me nuts. Right? Yeah. It's, what do you call it? Risk and reward. Risk reward. Yeah. Risk reward. More yeah. risk than reward. It is. In, in that case, yeah. I no, didn't. But look, I mean, it looks good. It, it does. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's really good. It's, the problem with the bottom, though, is I'm going to cover it with dust. So all this detail and paint, different colors, there's actually many Well, you'll know it's there. I know it's there. I know you'll take there. pictures of it. This is what I use to... The memorandum, the, right? Yeah. This is what I... Th these are the ammo boxes. So I actually just prime them in this beige color, and then I'll leave mm. the beige straps this color, and I'll paint around it. They were different colors, and these will go on. So that's how I do that. Um, and where did the turf come from? The turret is this guy. The turret is right here. Oh, very good. DEF. You can still get them. I did use the resin wheels because the ones in the kit are rubber. I don't like rubber wheels in kits. Do you? No, no. It's and it's funny. I was looking at the. Uh, I was looking at the the Meng ones and yeah. the, like actually the the tread looks pretty good. Yeah. There's a big seam line. Right. That goes through it, and you can't like. How do you get rid of it? And like, I don't yeah, like weathering. Rubber. It'd be hard in plastic. It's impossible in rubber, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. the wheels, right? The other parts I have, like you on the Hano Mag, I have the Quinta Studio, the dials, but the dials they don't fit this kit very well. It's designed for I think this Vesta kit. I think they don't quite fit, right? So when you buy these things, make sure it's for the model. But you can do it. Yeah, you're yeah, you can, I can re-engineer it. Um, I bought this masking sheet. I have no idea whether this pattern was the pattern with the BMT turret, but who knows? I'll still do it. Field mod, right? Here's my bailiwick. Here's my pet peeve. Okay, great photo etch. Fantastic photo etch. Yeah. yeah, but get that film off this thing is horrible. Why? Like, it, it, it won't come off. And then when you're peeling it off, it is so sticky, it begins to bend. Oh, really? The photo, it's bad. Um, this one's done already, but getting that off, you could see it's oh, bent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh. if you're listening, ET models, please don't use very sticky film to protect it, because in the end, you're not protecting the parts. You, you, you can't even get in there with a number 11 blade to lift it. It is that well put on. Wow. I didn't even do this one. So that's the thing with photo etch. Eh? I find I use like twelve percent of the pieces that are on. True. It. Let's look at this one. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, look at these. What's these? I don't. I won't use those. Those are like bolt heads. Bolt heads. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no, no. Scale rule, guys. My my rule is if if you can't see a detail on this vehicle standing thirty five feet away, one thirty fifth, I, I usually don't put it on. You got like uh, butterfly nuts. You got uh, and and they're flat. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I agree. I'm I wouldn't. That. I wouldn't use them. So that's my struggle. And, and again, I'm I'm I haven't put the dirt on yet. <clears throat> I'm not doing the engine. It's going to be covered by the hood. But it's it's a fun little project because I, when you ever notice when you're not familiar with a project, that becomes funner because you know yeah, you're it. researching. Yeah, you're yeah. researching. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it for this. This is just some of the aftermarket stuff. Now, this 
this is one of the resin wheels from DEF. I painted black. Um, it is, like you say, much better to weather than the rubber oh, ones. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll go on the back. Nice. Right? They do, a, they do a nice uh, flat tire set for this. Yes, they do. Which I have for the, because I want to do a you, knockout one. You want a knockout? Yeah. Right. It's, oh. it's ironic. This one was knocked out and I'm not doing it knocked out. So. so that's mine. So what do we, uh, so what do we learn? What are uh, we taking away from this? Uh, uh, what I'm taking away is pay as much attention. Don't to do the interiors. Yeah, don't do interiors at all. <laughs> or if you do them, you got to pay attention to making them pop just as much as the exterior. That's what I'm taking. Yeah, and I think it's uh, keeping it consistent with the exterior. Yes, that's right? number two. So I think that's uh, that's important. I think make it look lived in as much as possible. So I could probably do a little bit more with some extra stowage. Although, like if they're firing these big rockets off on the mm -hmm. side of this thing, I don't know how much stuff they would leave inside. Don't know. Right, yeah, so yeah, there's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a good exercise. I mean, it you know kind of improved my my leather. Like yeah, I, like, yeah. Hey. Could you you forgot how do you do that? Because you can't see, but it's really nice leather, it's, really nice uh, wood. Yeah, it's a technique I, I stole actually from uh, I think it's L, LPJ Models. He's oh. a guy out of England that does, okay. uh, and he did the you know, an interior of one of the I can't remember the Copperfield or mm -hmm. the uh, Copper State Models, one of the armor car, World War One armor cars. Mm -hmm. And there was like a leather seat he was doing. So what you do is you paint it. Um, what I did is I paint it in like a dark brown. Mm. And then with like a buff color, I'll kind of chip the edges of it. And then up with that same color, very thin, I'll paint some like like cracks in the leather. And then I go over it with a dark brown wash. So you blend it that way. Yeah, and then it kind of knocks yeah. it out. It looks pretty stark when you start but then you put it. that on there, it blends it down. So you're using hairspray technique? Uh, no. Oh, you're just chipping it by hand. Yeah, with a sponge. Oh, okay. oh I see. Yeah, ah, with a sponge, maybe with a brush. Yeah, yeah. Right. But so it's very quick, very simple, and it, it, it does great, uh, really nice results. Well, we're kind of jumping around, but I, I forgot to tell I whether I do modulate. It's like it's gray interior. This is so you can see the modulate on the yeah. seats. Yeah. And then you modulate it quickly, and then all I did was put a, a dark brown wash on it, and that's I and some highlights. That's that's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just make it pop. Yeah. And that's how I yeah, did this. Over, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Uh, one little uh, tip I do down. have is, guys, when you build these interiors, you see all these little knobs? I kept knocking them off. So just, I prefer to do them last now, now yeah. that I learned my life. I kept knocking and them And as I was trying to jam this thing together, I broke a bunch of things inside. I have to go back in and fix them as well. Right, right. right. So right. even even the, the like I, the transmission, the, the wheels was workable at one oh. point. Oh, But, uh yeah, it's it looks like it. Oh, okay. You know, it, doesn't, you know, it doesn't look very good. Uh -huh. um, so we'll fix that. But uh, yeah, yeah. I, it'll, yeah, I think both both will. I mean, a little bit frustrating, but they'll both build yeah, really nice. I think so. Yeah, we'll get there. So and there's our there's our uh, there's our episode for today. Yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for hanging out with us, and uh, we'll see you next look time. Forward around. to your comments. Take care. <laughs>